Uh, over at Daily Co, Z-Man 1527 has posted a, a fascinating piece. Uh, Medicare Advantage, pros and cons, understanding your choices. You're probably, you know, if you're alive and you're watching television, you're seeing ads for Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage is a scam. It is private health insurance. When you sign up for Medicare Advantage, you are giving up real Medicare. You're just leaving it all together. And the Medicare Advantage companies then will insert themselves between you and your doctor, between you and your hospital, between you and your radiologist, between you and your lab, between you and you know, any medical procedure, and decide whether or not they will pay for it. I had a caller yesterday who said, well, the law says that Medicare Advantage providers have to cover everything Medicare covers. Well, yeah, they have to, except they don't have to pay for it. They just have to consider paying for it. Seriously. This is uh, from NBC News, right? Key passages from NBC News. Deny, deny, deny. By rejecting claims, Medicare Advantage plans threaten rural hospitals, patients, CE, says, say CEOs. Now, this was, that was the headline. Here's the article. Medicare from NBC News. Medicare Advantage plans are, quote, taking over Medicare and taking advantage of elderly patients, says the CEO of one Mississippi facility. Even worse, because the plans routinely deny coverage for necessary care, they are threatening the existence of struggling rural hospitals nationwide, the CEOs of facilities in six states told NBC News. While the number of older Americans who rely on Medicare Advantage in rural areas continues to rise, these denials force the hospitals to eat the increasing cost of care, causing some to close operations and leave residents without any access to treatment. Dr. Keith Williams, the CEO of Alliance Healthcare, said of the Medicare Advantage plans, quote, they don't want to reimburse for anything. Deny, deny, deny. They're taking over Medicare and they're, and they're taking advantage of elderly patients, end quote. Williams is, uh, this Dr. Williams is something of a local hero in Holly Springs. Um, he, he, uh, when the area hospital was in danger of closing in 1999, he marshaled resources and bought it to keep it open. Alliance serves a county of only 38,000 people. Still, this spring, he had to shut down a longtime geriatric psychiatry program that had served the community for over eight years. Why did he have to shut down the long-term geriatric psychiatry program? Because of coverage denials from Medicare Advantage plans, Williams said. Quote, they killed the program. By the way, in 2024, next year, they've just announced this, uh, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid will pay brokers a commission of between $611 and $762 for the first year of a Medicare Advantage plan. Now, I don't understand. Why are my tax dollars paying commissions to Medicare Advantage brokers? $762? By the way, the commission on a Medicare supplement, the Muddy Gap plan, the, you know, the, the, the plan that fills in the holes for Medicare and does not have the ability to stand between you and your doctor is a huge difference. With Medicare Advantage, they actually insert themselves between you and your doctor and decide whether or not to pay. With Medigap plans, the ones that just fill in that 20% hole that the, the white Southern uh, senators had insisted in 1967, Lyndon Johnson put into Medicare so that black people would not be able to afford getting hospital care. With the Medicare, the Medigap plans that fill in that 20% hole, they are not allowed to insert themselves between themselves and your doctor. They may not, they, they don't do preclearance. If, you, if your doctor says you need a procedure and you have real Medicare with a Medigap plan, the Medigap plan does not have the power to say, no, we won't pay for it. Medicare Advantage, that's all they do.